hey everybody hey bookers welcome back to another video i know i haven't done this in a while where i've just done a book video but i'm back i'm here i'm doing a spring tbr video really really excited for this one i've been reading quite a lot if you do not follow me on goodreads or on instagram i highly recommend that you do because that is typically where i share the current books that i am reading and i give my reviews and all of that but also if you watch my vlogs you will know that uh, i'm constantly reading through each and every single one of my vlogs there is something that i'm reading and something that i'm reviewing in the video so this time around we're just going to do a quick spring tbr video this is the this is these are the books that i want to read in the month in the spring season i feel like these books are pretty good for spring i try to mix something a little bit dark with something a little bit light and romance and yeah just some contemporary fiction so if you're somebody who likes the videos the book videos thank you so much for choosing to watch them Thank you so much as always for choosing to to follow me and choosing me each and every single day i really do appreciate it i am katleo malela let us get into the spring tbr shall we let's do that but one of the books that i'm going to pick up in the month of spring is this one this one is black girls must have it all this is by jane allen i have spoken about this trilogy of books it's a series of the black girls must die exhausted series and this is just a continuation from the second book so here in this book we follow tabitha walker who is a reporter and she's doing pretty well in her life we also follow side characters her friends and so on and so forth and in this one she has just uh given birth she's got a child but now she's working on her relationships and she's working on the dynamics of being black in the workplace her relationships getting a solid relationship with one of the people that she's with not one of the people um but essentially she's just had a child and so we follow her life as it continues from the previous two books where she is dealing with the it's social commentary about being a black woman in the workplace and also how her life has just been you know has changed from living it up dating living her best life at work all of that to now dealing with diapers and dealing with a child and so i'm really really excited to read this book and finish off the black girls must die exhausted trilogy this is the third and final one in the mix of books and i really really can't wait to get back to this one it's pretty short so these are the kinds of books that you literally can read in a day if if you're focused chief if you're focused you can read this in a day if not it's still fine it's not it's not the end of the world but yeah this is one of the books that i'm going to lean towards in my spring tbr the next okay. one is one that i've been meaning to pick up i don't know for how long or for how many months this is cleopatra and frankenstein by coco mellers and man the synopsis of this book is just so interesting it's wild to me but it's interesting because we follow the dynamic between these two people we follow uh cleo and we follow frank and cleo is not a national to the u.s but she meets frank and she needs she's in a really precarious situation because she needs to get a visa or she needs to get a green card in order to stay into the country in the country and not get deported back to france i think I think. But um she ends up meeting Frank at this New Year's Eve party and they end up striking up a relationship and all of that and it's it's interesting because you see the dynamic that happens where they say okay Frank is like okay maybe let's strike a deal with you and you watch their relationship unfold along with this huge thing between them where uh they know that there's a time constraint and that Cleo needs to get a green card. Okay? So we watch their relationships, their relationship with their friends um they're in the social elite circles of new york they're based in new york and we watch all of that unfold how their friends feel about this arrangement of theirs and the relationship dynamic between cleo and frank themselves so it's really really interesting this is just a literary fiction novel that i really can't wait to read and absolutely love the cover uh maybe focus yeah absolutely 
absolutely love the cover so so pretty wow. but the next book that i do want to read is black cake this is by charmaine wilkerson now this book was published a while ago okay no it was published last year <laughs> it was published last year where we follow estranged kids Benny and Brian, and they reunite for a family funeral. Um, first, what is being had at the family funeral is the traditional black cake, which is a type of Caribbean uh, black cake, and to remind them of their roots and where they come from and so on and so forth. But them having gone back for this family funeral unearths a lot of things that have been happening with the, fun the family that they did not know about. And now we watch them as they try to navigate through all of this. And... Um, and them being confronted with various things that have happened in the past of the family that they belong to. And we see how it unfolds in that way. That's pretty much all I want to know about it. Um, I also think there'll be a lot of talk in terms of Caribbean culture and traditions. Caribbean. Caribbean. Caribbean culture and traditions and i'm really really looking forward to diving into a culture and 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 a type of people a kind of people that i know really nothing about so i'm really excited to read this one as well besides the cover is like pink and it's like got a, like a yellow spine and everything and it just looks really really nice so something that would be great i think to definitely read in the springtime so i'm looking forward to this um one. something that is a romance but slightly on the dark aside that I've also wanted to pick up for the absolute longest time is Before I Let Go by Ryan. No. <laughs> Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. And in this one, we follow Yasmin and Josiah. Yasmin and Josiah are a, a, a recently divorced couple who has children. There's a particular reason why they divorced and it has something to do with grief and sorrow. Now, I'm not quite sure what it is, but they could not make the marriage last but now they're having to navigate co-parenting and uh being there for their children in this time so we watch them as they navigate through that but in some way also find their way back to each other so it's like a second chance at love kind of romance um but with really dark um not dark men but with really important and uh poignant topics which i think are really it's really great you pick it up a lot in a lot of black love romances but i feel like sometimes you know sometimes you just want to read a black romance that has nothing deep in it um but i've heard exceptional things about this one and so i want to know how they find their way back to each other i want to know what happened for them to split apart so i'm really really excited to read this one as well i really do want to pick it up in the uh springtime and this one has about 385 pages so it's really not that bad it's quite long i do i must say for romance it's quite long but um willing to check it out and see how it goes yeah the next one i did have to put something a little bit dark in there and this is one that i picked up a long time ago but i really want to read it because i heard one of my favorite booktubers um uh, kayla kayla i always forget her her booktube channel but she talked about this and i think jordaline also spoke about this this is the silent companions by laura purcell Purcell and the, in this book we follow uh Elsie <laughs> which is interesting because my mom's other name is Elsie um we follow Elsie who is newly widowed but is pregnant and she decides to move to her husband's uh, uh her late husband's manor in order to you know ride out the pregnancy and give birth and all of that uh, but when she gets there she gets to a very hostile environment where she doesn't really get on with anyone there from the servants to the people who work there from the people of the town and the only person that she ends up getting along with or finding some sort of uh, semblance to a cordial uh, friendship relationship with is uh, the cousin of the late husband and what is interesting about this one is that when she gets to the house there is this one painting that just keeps staring back at her which looks eerily similar to how she looks so this is a very dark book it's not a 
it's not the, the, the these fluffy books or anything like that it is somewhat of a thriller slash horror um so she sees this 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 figure i don't know if it's a painting or it's like a wooden figure in the house that looks eerily eerily similar to how she looks and um i find that really strange why why i want to know so and also why what's the issue with the townspeople you know what's the issue with the people who work in the in the home why don't they like her why aren't they you know acclimating themselves to her in a positive way what's happening so i really want to really want to pick that one up it's fairly short as well 365 odd pages really really looking forward to, to picking this up so typically with these books what i do is i'll read them and then i'll put them in a certain section which is the section that i will look at first when i am drawing things out of my uh, tbr jar and we're going to do that at the end of the video so hmm, keep watching <laughs> the next book that i really cannot wait to read but my goodness it's a chunker i think this is 500 pages yeah it's 540 pages this is by ve schwab and this is the invisible life of eddie larue now this is a fantasy but look at this cover are you joking it's so nice the original cover is black but i really like this white one with the gold accents um really really pretty so in this one we follow eddie larue okay who strikes a deal back in the day in 1714 she strikes the de a deal with like a demon or a devil like figure where she says i want to live bro i don't want to die mm -mm. i don't want to die i just give me immortality just just give me immortality it's fine as long as it's fine and then the devil says cool i can give you that however 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 um i the only thing is as you go through life as much as you will live no one will remember you nobody so she can pass someone right now in the store and that person will not remember no one no one remembers her until she walks into a bookshop one day and she gets into this bookshop and finally someone remembers her and it's just like what oh my gosh right so she goes into this bookshop and a guy by the name of henry remembers her and this changes everything for her so she clearly wants to change the outcome of things right now but of course as we know wherever there's a demon devil kind of character they're never ever gonna play fair so i really really want to see what happens with this one really, really excited it's, it's chunky but i probably read it around the december time because i don't know something about fantasy christmas you know just just the hoopla of 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 the the magic the merriness of the christmas time that i would probably want to pick this up then and then the last one is one i want to pick up very very soon this book was released last year and i got it at bargain books for 79 rands yeah yeah uh-huh and uh yep copyright 2022 this is night crawling by leila motley now in this one we follow kiara or kira kira we follow kiara johnson who's really going through a tough time she's a 17 year old with an estranged brother and older sister and she finds herself um having to take care of herself not only herself but her younger brother trevor as well um uh, she finds herself in a really difficult position because the landlord of the apartment in which she lives with trevor is about to kick her out because she's not paying her rent okay so now she needs to find ways in which she can get money in which she doesn't find herself on the street herself and her brother on the street and she ends up resorting to doing very very difficult nighttime work sex work essentially as she walks the streets of i think it's la i don't know i don't know so one night she's walking the streets doing her job and she finds herself confronted with two police officers who strike a deal with her whatever deal it is that they strike i don't know what it is she ends up finding herself in the center of a media storm so this something then happens from that i'm just thinking crooked crops crooked crops <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just thinking cro crooked cops vibes, but hey man, we'll see how it goes. Really, really looking forward to reading this one as well. Um, I've heard wonderful things about this book, how it's written, the social commentary behind it, and um, she is a she is a black girl, if I'm not mistaken. So I really want to see how that one is going to play out as well. And then finally, we have crying in H Mart. Now I love memoirs i've been reading quite a few memoirs especially this year alone the last um memoir i read was what my bones know and oh man, that was really really dif difficult and i listened to that on audio but i do want to get to this one i keep seeing it i keep hearing absolutely amazing things about this memoir this is by uh michelle zoner and it's called crying in h mart and in this um memoir we follow the life of michelle zoner and she speaks about the relationship that she had with her mother she is a korean um writer and so we have we see the dynamic that she has the relationship that she has with her mother but how a lot of the memories and the traumas and all of the things that she has gone through through her life period have a huge surrounding with food there's a lot of food references in here and how they set the scene for very defining moments that have happened in her life and it's this this i i really just want to read this um we watch her relationship with her mother and her mother being diagnosed with cancer and how that unfolds and i really really want to read this i've heard very very powerful things about this memoir and i cannot wait to pick it up so so excited yeah so 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 excited now so so I got my TBR jar right here, right here, okay? So instead of, I've already picked the books that I want to read, but if I pick a prompt from the TBR jar, so I'm gonna pick, to be on the safe side, I'll pick three prompts, right? Pick a prompt from the TBR jar, and then I have to pick from the books that I've just chosen. If I don't have anything there, then I'm going to have to look at my bookshelf of all the books that I have and find something similar to what the prompt is asking of me. So let's go. Okay. When I just, oops, one fell out. So that one doesn't count, does it? I don't know. Okay. A thriller novel. Easy, right? We're here. It even says it's been blurbed by uh the daily mail for being dark and creepy so the thriller novel i will read i'll put the thing in there is the silent companions right let's pick our second one should we go with white pink blue let's go with blue right blue let's go okay uh, a graphic novel Ooh, I don't have any graphic novels. Ooh. This is the moment where I'm like, Ish, if I had hot hot stopper. So I don't have a graphic novel. We're gonna do another another hopeful. Let's go. We got pink here. Let's see. A book by a female author. Very easy. I will go with all for the sake that we want to finish off this trilogy i'm going to pick this so these three that i'm going to pick are the three first ones that i will go with in terms of my tbr so a, a book by a female author most of these books are by female authors all of them i think i think all right the final one let's go let's see come on stop dropping them what is this now okay and we went with white a fantasy novel dun, 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 dun. and it's white <laughs> so fantasy novel definitely uh ve schwab's the the invisible life of eddie larue i would like to believe it's a fantasy novel it definitely is it should be yeah 
yeah yeah so definitely going to pick these three up first as part of my tbr and then i'm going to go into the other ones really really excited for that i'm glad that you guys were here i hope you guys enjoyed the video i added a little bit of a twist with it this time around and that was exciting to do but uh, i'm gonna go i'm gonna set these up in my to be read section and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us recommend the videos. Let's read together, man. Okay. <laughs> Until the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. Until the next one. Sayonara.